Hey guys, welcome to another VectorMade tutorial. I'm Kerry Hawkins. Uh, this is my first time actually appearing in my own videos, so I thought that'd be kind of fun. Maybe do a little footage on my phone and then kind of mix the two together in Premiere Pro and we'll go from there. Today I'd like to do a quick video on how to print really good CMYK red. So let's get going. Okay, so to start things out, you want to make sure that your document is in CMYK mode. So just come up here, File, Document, CMYK. There you go. You can also see it right here. It should say CMYK. Um, what we're going to do is just create a square. So I'm grabbing my marquee tool over here. You can also hit M. And I'm just clicking and dragging. It doesn't matter what it is. But it's probably going to be default colors, which are white fill, black stroke. Let's go ahead and get rid of the stroke. And then let's just put in on the fill, making sure that in our color tab, we are in CMYK. Uh, go ahead and come in here and add 100 to magenta and 100 to yellow. And that right there is going to be pure red in CMYK. The only time that'll ever give you issues is if the printer you're printing on sucks or it has bad ink or something. And I've had that happen before. That's pretty rare especially for any printer that's been in business long enough, they should be able to print that as, as a good red. Um, the subscriber that asked me the question today about um, printing red um, also wanted to know about dark red, so I thought I'd throw a few uh, swatches out there that I tend to use as my like default deep red burgundy types. So let's get into that. If you just start with the 100-100 and you add... 25 black, you're going to get a dark black, see, put those next, or dark red, see, right next to each other, they look um, very different, so, and you can come in here, um, select that number, and hold shift, press up and down on the arrow keys, and you can raise that by degrees of 10, it'll always round up to um, a factor of 10, so if you're at 47, you press up, it's going to go to 50. Um, if you're at 52 and you press down, it's going to go to 50. But the next time you go to 40, etc. So, you know, you might go as high as 70, even 75 for like a really dark red. Um, but you'll probably run into some issues with the porosity of the paper that you're going to print on. You might just get too much ink coverage in uh, a certain area and it might bleed a little bit off. And I'm not talking about bleeds, like print bleeds, like just talking about the ink might actually run. Um, that can happen. Another dark value I, I kind of start with on red is a 25 cyan and 25 black. This will, let me drop this back down to 25 and show you the difference here. Um, and let me just put those together so you can see this is going to be a little bit cooler red. It's going to have a little more of a maybe maroon or like a wine burgundy kind of feel. Um, so I, I, those are where I start, and then you can just go off of that. If you want to bump this down to 15, bump this up to 35, um, you know, maybe just do 10 and 20, you know, whatever. Um, you can do all sorts of different combinations to get the color that you want, the color of red. Now, if you're not sure what things are gonna look like when they're printed, a good idea is to create a swatch sheet and then go have a printer print them off. And what that will do is just give you all these different values of you know, red, dark red all the way to light red and blue and so forth. And just all these various colors that you can use. You can download, download this stuff online, so it's really easy to find. But if you get those things, um, and then you have a printer print them out for you on different material like matte paper and uh, glossy and different weights of paper, different um, different uh, qualities of paper, uh, diff banner materials, um, cast vinyl versus calendar vinyl, like all these different substrates that you might be printing on. Um, if you have that in front of you, then you can actually make sure that they're fairly consistent across the board because um, red will look different. All these colors will look different depending on what they're on, uh, depending on the lighting of the room even. Um, 
if it's indoor outdoor it's going to look slightly differently than it would um, you know maybe in your office or something or on your monitor for sure so those are just some things to consider some quick tips and um, you know, hopefully that was beneficial to you guys if there's something you'd like to see please leave something down here in the comments um, tell me what kind of video you want to see go ahead and like subscribe tell your friends I got 200 today I need to get to 1,000 um, too many zeros anyway I need a thousand by February 20th I don't think that's gonna happen but who knows we'll see all right see you guys in the next video bye